Yeah, my web my website is spinning, but that's not the issue. Uh, hello, gals and guys. This is Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com, and the issue is not that my website is spinning. I think I just need to reboot my computer because everything seems kind of slow, but I'll do that in a bit. Uh, anyways, the issue that is upon us is uh, SharePoint. So what I had this, I recreated this, actually, this issue. Um, and what happened this week at work is that um, they were transferring. And when I say they, we have a SharePoint group that takes care of the admin um, side of things. I do not have access to where I work to admin, uh, which does, it's kind of a pain in the butt when you want to go and just do things yourself. But anyways, they, um, I had a request to have them transfer files from an old SharePoint site to a newer um, cloud-based SharePoint uh, site. I'm transferring all our departments over at work for that. So what I come up against once they did that for a particular department, a particular site is this. So I actually recreated this um, for this video just to show you what I did um, to correct this. Okay, so I'm just going to close this out for now. I'll close this out for now. All right, so just go into your main um, Office 365 and where all your apps are and you can just grab SharePoint. All right, so if I go here, um, I'm, I'm stuck with the same situation. So as long as you can get into um, the backend content, which I'll wait for the gear to pop up, but you're good to go. All right, so site contents. And this is what I was um, up against. So as you can see, there's no pages. That's very simple. All you have to do is go new, go page, and just create a home page. Okay. Comments off. Doesn't really matter. We'll just publish. All right. And then we'll get back into the gear so I can show you a couple other things. Now, my issue uh, went beyond that. Now, if you go to the communication site, it's going to go to the home page. Now, if you don't necessarily want that page as a home page, uh, actually, here, let me show you. Let me go and make another page. And we'll call it um, testing this. I don't know, something like that. OK, and get out of here again. We'll go mark under contents, baby. All right, baby, so now we got two pages. All right. Now, if you want this as your homepage, you can just go in here and make homepage. Okay, so if you click on here, then you got testing this as your homepage. All right, nothing too incredibly difficult. So another thing that I came up against in, um, I didn't quite recreate it here, but I'll, I'll show you just in case. So let me go back here and I'll just make home home again. So you just go down here and make home page. All right, click on communication site. It's your home page again. So let's go back into the gear once again. And I'm just gonna go into here. I'm gonna go into settings. I'm gonna go into advanced settings. And I'm gonna go into classic view. And I'm gonna go okay. And I'm gonna go back to my gear. It's like going around in circles. And this is something else I came up against too. So once they transferred the files, I was going, what the F? <laughs> this was here. There was like home, home one, home two. Um, I was able to get the home page back by doing what I just did there. But uh, for, for whatever reason, if this comes up like that, uh, just go back to your, your content, your site content. And then just go to your settings again. And then go to advanced. All right, and you can do classic, obviously, or new. I'm just going to do default because it's new sites. It's going to default to the to the more modern um, sites, and then just hit OK. All right, so if you go back, you have contents. All right, you go into site pages. So there we are. We're in our modern view for our pages, and we can go here, and we're on our home page. So kind of something weird. It took me about 10 minutes to figure out what the hell was going on. But um, I thought maybe if you came up again, I couldn't find anything on YouTube or anything. So I farted around for a bit. Uh, so if you come up against something like this, then uh, hopefully this will help you correct that.
All right. And there's another way um, you can do it as well <clears throat> in some situations. So let me go to the contents again. So what you have here, and let me um, let me just delete this again. Oops. So I'm going to delete this again. And if we go here, we get the 404 error. Okay. So you can go to the recyclable bin. Now the recyclable bin lasts, if I'm not mistaken, 90 days. And uh, this, stick, this stuff will stick around for 90 days until it just deletes. Um, so pretty, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Here's everything I've deleted in the past. If I want it back, I just click on that. So I'm going to click on um, homepage. Actually, I'm curious because um, the folder is site pages. I'm curious if I just restore this, what happens? Okay, you must first restore the original list in order to restore the file home. Okay, so that makes sense. So here's the original list right here, site pages. That's the container that um, the pages go into. So we want to restore. All right, so if we go back, all right, there we go. Our site pages folder is back. And again, if you want that folder back, you don't necessarily have to go to the recyclable bin. You can just create a new page and call it um, whatever you want and then just make it a home page. But um, it's a little bit easier, especially if you've got a lot of stuff on that particular page, right? So we'll just go like this and we'll hit restore. And that should go right back to that folder. Okay, and there it be. So you're not you're not totally screwed if you accidentally uh, delete anything. You can't really screw anything up or you I mean you can screw things up, <laughs> but it's very easy to uh, go in there and uh, and correct it and fix it. Okay. All right, and um, that should do our gales in, guys. I just wanted to show you uh, what I came up against this week. It was pretty quick, easy fix, but I thought I'd put a video together for you, and I appreciate you as always. And I think the likes are, or the subscribers are, are going up pretty good this year. I mean, not to... Oh, you know, extreme levels, but a lot more than last year. So thank you for anyone who has subscribed. Um, if you have not, please subscribe and help the channel out. I would appreciate that. And then uh, please like the video if you like it. Um, and if you hate it, thumbs up, put the, <laughs> put, put, like it anyways. And um, share, share this uh, and uh, hit the bell for updates. All right, gals and guys, I appreciate you as always. I know I said that already and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Across continents, even underwater, we're investing billions to keep your content safe with sustainability in mind, all with an eye on the future of the SharePoint platform to deliver security, privacy, transparency, trust. We're committed to high-performance architecture, Azure Edge Computing, multi-geo expansion, and AI-powered insights to refine and fortify the back-end infrastructure. What you don't see, our team working behind the scenes to provide innovative, fast, reliable user experiences that scale across the platform to fuel your apps, pages, files, lists, videos, and more. Microsoft 365, offers you the world's most flexible content management platform. And we're just getting started.